Salawam, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahayah Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shah is the true name of our Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Bahashem in the name, and Rahayah Kodash and the Holy Spirit, giving the double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that rule well, and that has taught us this truth. Okay, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. Okay, coming back with this lesson, and I pray that this lesson is edifying. But you know, as you see on the screen, I got this article, man. And as you can see on the date, all right, this was um, on April 12, 2021, man. You see, because hey, many people, you know, all these false teachers, man, these different other camps, you know, all these people want to spew out their madness. All these people want to talk about what the MOTB is actually is, man. But hey, here at Great Millstone, starting with Apostle Tahar and the other apostles and elders and brothers down, man, have been forewarning you, forewarning you people that the MOT, the MOTB, all right, is going to be a rice grain that's going to be inserted in you, man. All right, and we're going to get that. But and I'm not going to make this lesson too long, man. But just to show you that, hey, man, these, hey, man, these elites, these devils have been planning this, man. Okay, and many people are going to be caught off guard, and that's why you have to come to the true. All right, you got to come to the true men of the Lord. All right, the servants of Yahweh Shemashah that's going to give you this truth. You know, and, and sincerely, man. All right, because many other people, are, you know, are you know doing this for filthy lucre's sake, man. Doing this for their own. All right, doing this for money. Okay, we're going to see that what in these days that we approaching that. Many of these false teachers, many of these different counts are going to be proven wrong, man. All right. And look, and hey, the brothers, you know, the brother sent this in the chat maybe about a week ago, man, or two weeks ago. OK, and that was not too long ago. You see. So, hey, look at the date here and then look at this one. This was not too long ago, man. And I had to blurt out. You know that, you know, I had to blurt out that name just so they don't pick it up on the algorithm, man. But, hey, man, let's first go. Let's see. I know that's in Matthew. Yup. This is, I want to start here. And this is uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. And it reads, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall in the ditch. And that's why, hey, many of you, you know, you false teachers, man, you different camps, all right? You're going to have a lot of blood on your hands, man, because you're teaching your congregation, all right, lies. You're teaching your congregation that the MOTB is not what's written in the scriptures, man. And, hey, and the Heavenly Father has a problem with that because when you go to Revelation, it says, Matter of fact, let me go ahead and get the scripture, man. You people are taking out, all right, taking out, you know, the, the, the real truth out of this, out of the holy scriptures, man. You're going to be judged for that, man. Okay. And let me add, let me go to Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. And it reads, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, okay. And, and, and what does that mean, man? Okay, you, hey, you teachers taking away the actual, I mean, you false teachers taking away the, the truth out of the scriptures, man. You know, saying that, hey, the, 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 12, the 12 tribe chart ain't official. Uh, most of you people spewing out that, again, the MOTB is an embargo or sleeping with a white woman. Just madness, man. And it says, Yahweh shall, shall take away his part of the book of life. And out of the holy city and from things which are written in this book, you see? And that's what these people are doing, man. They're taking away the words out of the scriptures, man. You know, spewing out madness, teaching your congregation madness, man. The Heavenly Father is going to judge you for that, man. You see? Because let's go to Ezekiel, all right? Us being what? Us being, um, what's that, um... Us being watchmen for Yahweh by Shemal Shah, we have to watch, all right? We have to go, you know, watch articles. I mean, not watch articles, but watch news reports. We have to, 
you know, if an article comes out, we have to read that, man. We have to be watchmen, okay? That's why Christian says to what? Watch and pray, okay? We have to be on point. We have to be circumspect because, hey, the scripture says, hey, through the signs of the times, man. Through the signs of the times, that's how we're going to know when, hey, our Lord is going to make his great return, man. And we're seeing that. And let's go to the point. And this is... um. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18, and it reads, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 17. Salakia, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's what we are. We are watchmen, man. And anything that comes out, we're supposed to take it and bring it to the flock, man. Hey, that's what the Lord has set us up to do. And it says, Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning for me. You see, the Heavenly Father is forewarning us about this MOTB, man. The thing that they about to put under, you know, you people's skins or in y'all heads, man. Okay, but then you got these different people speaking otherwise, man. And we're going to see in, in that day who is going to be true, man. All right, we're going to see in that day who are Yahweh Shai's true leaders, man. And it says, um, and give them warning for me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. You see? So, hey, hey many of you people, especially you different camps and you false teachers, man, hey, the Lord is going to kill you, man. Not only is the Lord going to kill those that you teach me to, the Lord is going to kill you, you, you teachers as well, man, because you are not telling them what's really going, what's really, you know, hey, what the scripture is really saying, man. OK, if you're not teaching this word in truth and sincerity, all right, you going off. OK, and there's hey, how about Shemal Shai has given his men 100 percent of the truth, man. There's no there's no 90 percent. There's no taking this with that. No, you got to eat the whole roll, man. But many people don't want to do that. But verse 19, it says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall surely die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's why we're afraid. And that's why we're telling you people, man. Because we don't want to be judged by how by Shemal Shah. Okay? Scripture says, hey, um, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You see? Do the terror of the Lord, man. And the Lord is going to show his judgment, all right, in the times that we're coming into, man. Because you got many of these Israelites. You got many people being scoffers. You got many people who want to do things in their own will. And the Lord is about to judge this place, man. We see a hey, hey, deja vu. It's happening again, man. But this time it's going to be worse, man. All right? There ain't going to be no, uh, you know, after they shut it down and open it again. Nah, the Lord willing. But... Let me go ahead to Revelation and then we can wrap up this lesson, Lord willing, man. But this is Revelation chapter 13. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to read it, man. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. You see, hey, and that's what's coming, man. See, look at that. April 12, two thousand twenty-one, and this one coming from Fox News. This was from New York Post. You see, Salakio, Salakio. But you see, hey, we in those times, man. If you people don't want to repent, you want to keep doing the things that you want to do. All right. Hey, hey, the Lord going to judge you, man. And let me also get this, too. Let me get Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, man. Because, hey, the reason why Esau, Edom is coming down fast like this and trying to hey, push out this chip, man, because we at the end. You see, he, Esau knows we at the end, man. And it says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. All right? Hey, and that's us, men of the Lord. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. Lord willing, man. Okay? But, hey, it says to rejoice, man, because we know at the end of this man's rulership, hey, we're up next. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the, the, Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, man.
and it says, "Woe unto the inhabitants of this! Of, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil." Okay, and hey, what what devil is this speaking about, man? It's speaking about you, so-called white man, man. All right, because the word devil, the word devil means deceiver. Okay, and the word Satan means adversary. All right, it's not speaking about the spiritual demon Satan. All right, but hey, you know who fulfills the work of the spiritual demon Satan? Esau, Edom. All right, and it says, "For the devil has come, to, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time." You see, he knows that he had a short time. That's why he's coming down like this, man. All right, hey, hey, and I pray that these last ones are fun, man. All you people that's taking this thing for a game, all you people that's taking your time, you know, doing things in your world, thinking that this place is gonna stay forever, man. The Lord has a, a how much of my son has another thing coming, man. So again, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Hey, brothers, we almost up out of this thing, man. Keep praying, all right, repent. And with that, I wanna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that we will. Please blessings and salutations to the whole four let scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwame Ashala, Shalom.